Oh, there's the audio. There we go. There we go. Now we have audio. Can you hear us? Say, put an emoji. Oh, hello, Eduardo. Can you hear us? I think it's still lagging because we're behind. Yeah, I think we are a little behind. Okay, and then we had a reminder. It pushes it out to everybody. This is a lot of lag, but this is much more lag than usual. Mm. Uh, but that's okay, because they won't see the lag, and they will see the lag. So we'll be oh. the ones that are annoyed, and okay. they'll be totally fine. They'll be fine with it. All right, we'll cool. be going crazy. <laughs> oh, he has sound. He has sound. All right. Good. Okay. okay. Oh, I just pointed now. All right. So. Oh. 30 seconds ago, I pointed. I put my phone down. I don't even know how long ago, but it's not in my hands right now, but it's showing it in my hands. Time travel. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, hello. I am Magnolia, and this is Meta. Indeed. Are you gonna flip your hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how y'all doing? We're here, surviving as as we do. That's all we can do. And we just thought it would be fun to do a costume unboxing live because then you all can join in on the hangout and um, look at the sparkly beautifulness that is belly dance costumes because that's always a good time. I won't disagree with that. Yes. Good. Indeed, <laughs> madam. Yes, thank you. If you do disagree that belly dance costumes are not yes, beautiful, uh, you can leave. Subscribe. Uh, <laughs> bells. Whistles. Bells. Um, yes, hit the whistle button. Um, follow. There's no... What? <laughs> I'm promoting you. Oh, the great job. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Zoe. Zoe, even if you can get... <clears throat> From Greece, it's from Spain, from New York. My goodness. And we got Basia, maybe saying your name wrong, but hello. Eduardo from Spain. Will from New York. Y'all, we're international over here. We are some international ladies. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I'd like the um, Asian continent to get on board. Here we are. Yes. <laughs> Zoe says, I love you, can you, thanks, I love you too, can you, you, I've, I've been using the last, past few months have been in my life in the past and tomorrow night at work, how are not face, I don't, I don't, do you understand? I'm having a little trouble understanding, apologies. Zoe, I feel the love, but uh, we're having a bit of trouble. And it's probably because we don't know how to read, so. Yeah, right. Yes. We're illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> we're international. In day and age. Yes. We only know. Image based <laughs> meme language. Well, like women don't even know how to read, right? No, that's right. A, a severe limitation that we all suffer from <laughs> every day. What, what use is a woman if she knows how to read? Honestly, it's a hindrance. Well, <sighs> it atrophies the uterus, let's be completely honest. <laughs> and. Hurry here! I'm it! Atrophying the uterus! This is top 10 worst things. We lost two viewers by when you said atrophying the uterus. And now for our actual segment. Right, sex education. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Bring out the tools, yes. please, for the sex education. Here we are. There he is. Ready? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. We're mad at yourselves. Okay, anyway. Yes. So we have a box here. Leo is here. Oh God! So he's reading. No. <laughs> Leo is here. Hello, Leo. So we have this uh, package here. He has no address. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? This is all honestly what y'all came for. To look at this priority mail box. It's been sitting in my dance studio for like what two weeks. Yes. And I had to hide it so I wouldn't see it, so I wouldn't be tempted to open it without you. You know, honestly though, right? There is an experiment that was conducted by scientists many times mm -hmm. about whether children can do payoff long term or if they have to have it now. Yeah. You know, it's like you put a marshmallow and you tell them you can either eat the marshmallow or if you wait two minutes, you can have two marshmallows. Yes. Yeah, I always eat the marshmallow. So, but uh, you, I wait. You do wait, which uh, statistically means you are more likely to be successful. And I, on the other hand, died a bitch. Oh, okay. So. Well, it was nice knowing you, indeed. <laughs> but I didn't get the marshmallow. Um, <laughs> at least learned that. Right. 
Uh, Belly Talk Productions is on there. Hello. Nice to join you too. Belly Talk used to join us on Twitch when I used to be on there. When, before I gave in to the... Yes. Yes. Is that the one where I went on and called them all sheep and then left immediately? Yes, that was Twitch. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yep, that was Twitch. So, <laughs> so yes, I waited for two marshmallows. And uh, we're going to open this bucket. But right. before we open it, you have to guess what color you think the costume is. Not you. You already saw it. Oh, okay. You cheater. <clears throat> Don't cheat. Everybody else has to guess, though, what color you think the costume is. I'll give you a hint. It's not black. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I'm sure that would be the first thing you would guess. <laughs> yes. So, how I don't know how else to uh, stall opening this box. Oh, you can just stare at it for a bit. Yeah, use it as an armrest. Mm hmm. Mm, I think whatever translator is translating your messages is is betraying you. Pink. pink. Oh, <gasps> Lynn guessed pink. Hmm, that's a good color. Well, you are wearing pink. Is that why? Because I'm wearing pink. Yes, you've given it away. You've lip. You've left clues. Fuck. <laughs> 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 well, like oh, a serial yeah. killer, they also leave clues. <gasps> Not the good ones. Oh. Well, I'm yeah. a bad one, apparently. Yeah. I've missed you on Twitch. How's your leg feeling? Mm, it's gone now. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> I, screwed it, I screwed it on. Yeah, oh, there you go. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know it's going. It's it's still a little swollen, and there's the scar here. Here, I'm just gonna put my foot in your face. Other use for a box. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I paid much money to use this as a leg rest. Mm -hmm. So I have this big long scar here. Um, it's, you know, it's going, I'm progressing. I still can't put weight on it, really. Yeah, I can't. went on Releve. I did go on Releve, yes, at PT, which was very exciting. But when I'm not at PT, I'm not really allowed to walk on it. So I'm just scooting around, indeed. But, so, but you're mastering your scooter K-turns. So that's good. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I don't know why... I ever walked around my house to begin with when I could just ride a scooter around. That's true. And or drive yourself up steps. So. Oh, yeah. That's you know, Stephen Hawking used to do that. So you were in good company. Oh, my God. <laughs> when his disease was initially progressing, yeah. he, like, he started with paralysis in his legs. So, but to keep upper body strength, he would drag himself upstairs. And the doctors told his wife to let him do that. So this is pop You are a mom of genius. Wow. <laughs> Positive talk, y'all. <laughs> Positive talk. Let's see. Lynn says, yes, you look great in pink. Oh, well, thank you. You know, for the longest time, I refused to wear pink. Toby, purple, gold, no. Purple, sir, sir gold. Take a sign. <laughs> you got to commit to your yes. vote. Purple, gold, or combination. And, well, that is a popular combination. It is. Navy. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Well... We're gonna have to find out. Okay, great. It's time to open it. Time to open the box. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the, oh God. God. This is oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, this was a mistake. <laughs> this is how. This has been how to not open a, a box. So there we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it out for you one piece at a time. Oh, okay. And you need to calm down. Oh, all right. But take your knives and go no, sure? settle down. Yes. You're positive. Mmm. Okay. I think so. Ooh. Okay. I think we're gonna start with what is this piece? You be surprised. Too. Oh, I'm surprised. Yes. You're surprised. Anyways, the correct guess was. Pink. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. How was that? <laughs> Pink! <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Can we all go in? <laughs> what a surprise! Oh, it's got perfume on it. It smells very nice. Whew, yes. Mm -hmm. 
around your belly or you can attach it to your hips if you want it's a separate piece that you can pick where you put it on your body but the band is pink and bejeweled of course and the actual skirt itself is red and it has rhinestones all over it and then the trim of the skirt is just a regular little like simple trim no horse hair or rule tim or anything like that yeah lynn pink and red yep pink and red mm-hmm Donated 20 tokens to, uh, okay. We're going to Hive user. There we go. Boom. What was that? It was an inappropriate message. We are ladies. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are. Mm-hmm. The height of sophistication. Brent says, hey, Brent. Look at the smile. Brent is one of my lovely patrons. Oh, very nice. Which I appreciate very much, by the way. Hey, Brent, thanks for joining us. Gorgeous, it reminds me of I Dream of Jeannie. I don't remember what she wore in I Dream of Jeannie. Do you? I don't know what that is. That You don't know what I Dream of Jeannie is? Look, no Nickelodeon, no Disney Channel. Nickelodeon? No. She thinks it was on Nickelodeon. Where was it? This, was, this show was like back in like the 50s. Was it something other than PBS? Yes, then I didn't see it. Oh my. <laughs> well, you weren't alive. But everyone knows about yeah. I Dream of Genie. Okay, no, I got nothing. Hold on, I have to remedy this. No, okay. this is a travesty. Oh, well, what? Wait, is this like a 60s, 70s type thing? Yeah, it was a really popular uh, I might TV show. I might recognize it if I see it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so now looking at the costume. Yeah, well, pink and red. Yeah, that is what her costume So I think looks like. Doesn't she wear like a Turkish vest or something? She does wear a little vest, yeah. And she has hair and pants on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I recognize that. that yeah, they, they had to cover her belly button because it was too scandalous to right. show a belly button. Back. They did that in Star Trek episodes, too, actually. See, there you go. Okay, so, so you know they, Star Trek. They split it. Of course I know Star Trek. Oh, God. Who? I've never met anyone that doesn't know I Dream of Teen. Anyway, it was a... Uh, no, irrelevant. It was a... Uh, from 1965 to 1970. Oh. So, same era as the original mm -hmm. Star Trek. Oh. <gasps> So yes, I don't know, it's interesting. They put a split in the front. Split in the front, party <clears throat> in the back. Like, well, no, no, it's it's quite quite austere in the back. No, it's party in the back. Oh. Hillary. I mean, Nada. I mean, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary. Oh, what else you got in the box? <laughs> of this little uh, belly, uh, this little hip attachment here. So, okay. So I'm gonna show you the bling, the bling. And then the skirt fully spread out. And perfumed. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Well, it's dissipated a bit now, so that's good. Yeah, I think you just uh, lost the sense of smell. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so we have that piece. We'll put it off to one side. Next, next, next part. Next piece. Do do do. It was on Nick at Night at once, so I am I stand corrected. It was on Nickelodeon because they had Nick at Night that would show old shows. Oh yeah. So next we're gonna just have the uh, the the boo trap. Yes, the boo holster. Boo cage. There you go. I prefer holster personally. Because you take them out and shoot people with yes, them. Yes, correct. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it goes with sleep. You were much more quieter this time. Oh, well, I mean, the first one really blew my mind, but wow, yeah, there's a lot of sparkles on this. Well, now how is that supposed to stay? What is this? That it's fishing stay. wire. It's fishing. Oh, I guess that yeah. maybe that'll stay. And it's multiple pieces of fishing wire. This is 
Wow. That's four. A, that's four pieces of fishing line. That's a... Look, the person that I bought this from had, is very well endowed. Yes, I know. <laughs> and they, those puppies stay. I guess, yeah. So here we have the, you can hold this oh, side sure. if you want. Yeah, that would be like a marriage ceremony or something. Right. Anyways, you can see it's got that pink fabric that we saw on the little strap of the skirt. And then it's got jewels all over it. It's got these little <clears throat> arm pieces that just hang down. Gracefully, I love that style. Y'all know I have that on my um, nude pearl costume, this type of thing as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, it's an elegant. Very elegant. I like that shape. Mm -hmm. um, these cutouts are fun. I love cutouts. Yeah, I yeah. like those a lot. Yeah, that's really nice. And then through the middle, it's attached with some fishing wire, so it looks like one of those floating bras. I love floating bras. <sighs> Do you think that's pretty? Yeah, actually, yes. There they are. Hello, holstered. Ready to go. <laughs> I like it. That's pretty. Like Piece that. number two. Oh, I should show them a close-up. Oh. Here we go. This so you can see the detail. The more bling, the better, in my opinion. I think you oppose me in that. No, not necessarily. Okay. If it's uh, if it's pretty bling. Do you want to take out the last piece? Oh, would I ever. There you go. Princess Sparkly! That is correct. What could it be? Oh my god! It's spandex! <laughs> oh really? It's just shorts? It's shorts, yeah. Really? Shorts? Now I actually do want to know what this looks like on the form. On the model. I will model it for you. In a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you want to see it? Oh, yes. So. <laughs> can, I, can I look at it? With these, I've never seen crystal that big. I, well, I guess it's resin, but. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What are those, the ABs? I think those are the ABs. They look AB to me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so then uh, the short shorts are what you wear underneath yeah. everything. And uh, pretty much they match the bra exactly. Over here. There we go. Yes. She called it. This is like love in the time of cholera. This is sparkle in the time of corona. <laughs> An instant yeah, that's so up. <laughs> Sparkles in the time of corona. A yeah. well, fun, a love story. It is a love story, though. Yes. I'm curious to know how this all goes together. You know, as long as it has bling on it, it can go together however you want. And it works. Hmm. All right. Pink, red, and sparkle is a nice combination. I agree. <laughs> All right. Should I try this on? Yes, you should. I'll that means you. you have to entertain them while I go oh. change. I mean, I'll be right here. Yeah. I won't abandon you completely. Oh, boy. Try oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> so, so before this stream started, <laughs> Maida was asking me what she should talk about. Yes. And uh, they were quite... Depressing themes. Right. So prepare yourself to be uh, emotionally abused. <laughs> Why don't you tell them what you've been doing recently, like your gigs and stuff. Oh, or, oh gigs. I yes. Gigs. Yes. Um, all right. Well, so I, I dance regularly at uh, a restaurant that Magnolia actually uh, got me in uh, called Pharaoh's Palace. Yay. Indeed. And... Uh, What's it like? It's it's uh, jazzy. It's uh, full of vigor, uh, as they say. Uh, so polite. Yes, and uh, it's it's a. Uh... <laughs> I well, let's see. I don't know how complimentary slash um, cr critique heavy can I get with these okay. moments. Well, you know, <laughs> we're not to the we're to the name, so you can say whatever you want. Oh, indeed. Except I already said, said the name. So oh, baby. let's just say it's an amazing adventure. And every day is a new experience. You go in, you experience humanity, the full spectrum. Everything happens, you look at it, and you go, wow, this exists. 
and then you continue on with your life. The dancing, though, itself is actually quite fun yeah. because uh, there's actually really large Lebanese parties that will come in, and they are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually get up and dance with you when all of that, when everything is happening. They play all the classic music. We play all the recent tunes, and uh, when they when they get up and dance with you, just the the clients themselves. That's actually the most fun because then you feel like you're actually helping create an experience that's beautiful for everybody involved. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. What I don't normally dance at restaurants because they don't usually pay enough, to be honest. And so this one pays higher than most places. Yes. But also I like dancing there or I started dancing there because they have the visible live music aspect. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of places you can't um, get that. No, the live music is actually quite beautiful. Um, I really appreciate it. This last time I was there, um, honestly, I expected it to be totally dead given world events, and uh, it wasn't, which was surprise number one. Surprise number two was that the owner had decided to invite a Russian violinist to come play. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So uh, normally, you know, you're going to be you know, all of the Middle Eastern music and everything has sort of rhythms and specific things that go along with it. But uh, this time around, I got to do Russian folk fiddle. Interesting. So that was novel for an Egyptian restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was fun. Uh, it's not every day that you get to perform live with a, with a Russian violinist. So I'll mark that down as an experience I've now had. Yeah, that's, I've never experienced that either. And I've been performing uh, live longer than you. Yes, you have. This is accurate. So uh, I have never experienced that. Yeah. So, um, all right. Yeah. Novelty is uh, novelty is a thing. Wow. That actually that's coming together really well. It is so well. it's interesting because I I I've had a lot of sheer fabrics I want to use, but yeah. the perennial issue is how to drape it in a way that makes sense. You know oh, what I mean? My I love this. This is, the top needs to go up a little bit. Yes, it does. But other than that, I almost wonder if the, does the fishing line need to be slightly shortened? Like the distance between the cups? Uh, no, if, no, if, if it, it goes up, it should be up, it's fine. Yeah, if yeah. this goes up about two inches. Oh yeah, then okay. that, that's much better. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, guys, it actually looks, uh, oh, where's the camera? There's the camera. Yeah, yeah. guys, it actually looks quite lovely. It um, is a stunning. Maybe the skirt might be slightly too. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I can't really dance this, in it to yeah, figure it out yet. So I'm not sure. Okay, I'm like scooting, scooting over. Yes, indeed. So, how do I. Oh, should I, I just tilt this? the camera up? I don't know. I think I can just. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Right. Here's the whole thing pieced together so you all can see what that looks like. I need to adjust the straps um, to be shorter up here so it'll be more like that. Let's see. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Here, if we go like that, we can see that way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. So, anyways. Yeah, so we have the arm drapes, which are super lovely. I guess this is such, just such a romantic costume. Yeah, the drape on that is really pretty. Yeah, it's really lovely. I can do a little. You know, it makes me wonder if you could even do like a nude short, and then just like, but even do like a high waisted nude short, and then hit the put the like sequins all over that. I think that's Maybe. interesting. Yeah. I do like the the gapage. That's true. Yeah. I think it's I think it's very lovely. I, I do think, I think so too. Yeah. I'm not sure about if this one should go. No, that doesn't work. No. I mean maybe it could be I even think even with this costume that I could do like a high ponytail would look maybe nice with it. No. Maybe an I mean, well, I think as anything, I think you'd have to maintain the 
it's very romantic. So any romantic hairstyle, like big curls. Yeah, big curls or like. I mean, an updo kind of if it was a really big bun. If it was a big bun. And then some, like, tendrils. Yeah. I, well, you can do that now with your haircut, definitely. Yeah. yeah. That actually, that was kind of I nice. think that looks good. I would almost say, like, what if you did, is there a way you could do, like, the side, do you ever do the side bun, or does I that never, not really work for you? I never have tried that, really. Or maybe I could do the, just the pin thing where it's all the hair is draped on. Yeah, head. I think that looks really lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, uh... Um, what's the word? Move the camera down so they can see the bottom of the skirt. Of course. Thank you. And I can only, I'm only balancing on my right leg here, so. I'm going to be doing some amazing camera movements here. Perfect. <laughs> see. Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, I mean, it's chiffon, so. It is chiffon, right? It's mesh. Oh, mesh. Yeah. Okay. So it's, okay. But it's, you know, it's. Oh, there's a little bit of, I need to clean it a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, it's... Look at that drape, though. It's so nice. The yeah. drape is lovely. Yeah, the drape's lovely. I might have to shorten the hem a little bit. Because I don't wear high heels when I dance. No, right, exactly. If I wore heels, it would be fine. Is that still done? Where is that still done? Is that in a, just a, like, I guess the club scene? Or do they even do it there? Um, it still wears heels. Yeah, it's done in Turkey. Oh, in Turkey. Yeah, standard practice in Turkey. Standard practice in Abu Dhabi. Is, oh, okay. Standard practice. Well, pretty much any. You went out of fashion with the cruise ships. <laughs> a lot of the big weddings in Egypt, too, they wear heels. Oh, wow. So, okay. like, I guess it's when you want to be a little more formal, you wear heels. That's ironic. Yeah. Yeah, right. But I like this a lot. I think it's just lovely. I think it fits my form nicely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the color is really nice. And I think it was a good purchase. I like it. Yes. Success. Stop. Success. Okay. Shall we... Uh, Shall I bring it back down? Oh. oh, actually, it's... Is it working? It's fine. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. oh. Toby says, looks great. Lynn says, love the costume. You look beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Eduardo says, beautiful belly dance costume. The top looks like a pair of fireballs. Actually, yeah, because this is like flames. I guess it's that's correct. what I'm saying. Well, that's what the holster takes on an even other new meaning. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you dance in it. Yeah, you know, same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I really do want to get back to dancing. Uh, yeah, so. What are your final thoughts on this beast? This, yeah, I need to. Are you asking me or you yeah. the society? Oh, um, well, and you and it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's lovely. Yeah, I think the shape is fantastic. So, yeah, the drape is really interesting. Um, yeah, and it's almost like it's it's actually more minimal than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's minimal, but it's very impactful. It is. Oops. Okay. Well, can you? <laughs> My hair's in the way, so I can't scrub it, but... Uh oh, there we go. Okay, thanks for the rescue. Yeah, of course. <laughs> anyway, sorry y'all didn't get to see that. <laughs> but they're all like, damn it! <laughs> Crisis or bonus averted. Everything's averted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm, it is. I'm gonna sell like this perfume, like yes, the rest of it. I think it's. I think it's burned out my. Uh, all of my senses. So I can't smell anything anymore. Well, I mean, that'd be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Depends. Sometimes it is. So, yes. Anyways. <laughs> How long have we been live? What time is it? 30 minutes. <laughs> that was that, y'all. I don't, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Success. Do you have any final thoughts to share with the community? Um, you guys want to hear about the rise of the harem matriarchs in the early Ottoman Empire? Yes. <laughs> Can I really? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so <laughs> it turns out in the early days. Uh, <laughs> no. Story time. Story time. 
there were actual several harem people because when you were originally hired, not hired, when you were conscripted to join the harem and the Ottoman society, that was actually one of the major opportunities for education for women during that time period. Um, yes. So I they, the way that they educated the women was so like kind of on par with like going to university in that t day and time. Uh, and then if you were invited to, you know, see the Sultan or, or whatever was going on, then, you know, you could work your way up. But mm -hmm. it's amazing because the children of the, of the harem women were all considered legitimate. And they were all potential heirs to the throne. So, like, as opposed to most European or even most, like, West or Asian um, systems of government, uh, you know, usually there would be a sort of a wife versus the concubine system, and that's right. how most of those hierarchies are structured for, like, the, the females. Um, but in the Ottoman Empire, they actually just had harms in general where all of the women were approved of by the mother of the current, uh, I, don't, I don't know if sultan is the correct word, I think there might be another thing just I'm supposed to be leader. saying. Leader. Mm -hmm. um, so she would approve the women, so it was actually how they continued to do all of that stuff. And so, but as you rise in the ranks, you know, the, the woman who has the most impact on the male leader, but also is able to produce heirs that he likes, then it becomes even more interesting because her, she's, her primary job at that point became promoting her sons. But only one of them could be the next leader. So they would end up doing uh, fratricide like crazy. Yeah. Well, did, did age not matter? It wasn't the eldest. So. Well, it was the eldest. Yeah. But the younger ones would be like, well, I'll be the eldest if I. Honestly, can. the only thing standing in my way. Yes. Is the older. Is the older brother. So the most dangerous son of all was the youngest. Yes. And there were actual several leaders who kind of literally had their older brothers assassinated wow. to the point that, or if they made it, if they were the eldest son mm -hmm. and they made it to the primary leadership position, they would have their brothers executed for their future right. traitor's deeds. To secure their, <laughs> to position. Secure their position. Okay, yeah. Isn't that wild? It is wild. Oh, that was just, that was one of the most interesting, because, you know, like, when you look at even Japanese hierarchies and the way that, you know, like, there's like a, I will never betray you, loyalty is everything, versus the I will always betray you, loyalty is nothing, you know? And there was such an extreme model leading up to the Tokugawa Shogunate that it was just, like, wild to see how these lords would swear fealties of, uh, you know, loyalty, blah, 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 blah. And then they just, they'd assassinate each other left and right. And it's amazing to see how often that model is carried over. And it's even more interesting to see how the Catholic Church would try to regulate assassinations in the, in the European version of this. Because they would come in and they'd say, well, you know, technically you really shouldn't be, you, you shouldn't be stabbing people in churches. And shocking, okay. shocking. <laughs> And then, but then the, what they would do is they would say, but if you build us this new church, uh, not saying you are going to stab that because I would have to disagree with you, but I will forgive you and give you God's forgiveness yes. given that a cathedral is subsequently constructed uh -huh. um, on premises that we have discussed prior to that. That's how you would get away with murder back in the day. Yes, yeah, very much so. And it's amazing. They actually did, uh, the, the Catholic Church brought that over to Japan, too, when they were doing the same thing, uh, because the they were trying to convert the, the local daimyos to, uh, to Christianity. And one of the major ways that they would do that is they would convince them to build churches. And they would do that by selling them, you know, arms and stuff like that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Was that enough of a nerd rant? Oh, yeah, I love it. That's great. Okay, cool. People get asked questions about harems all the time, too. And they think, like, oh, belly dance is the harem dance. And that's what they wore when they were in harems. And, like, mm -hmm. no. We, yeah, no. They did dance, though. Well, of course, everybody had danced everywhere. So they danced, all sung, time. played instruments. They were highly accomplished. Yes, but to say for sure that it was belly dancing specifically that was done, like, we well, don't, we I don't think really they know. They had something about, I know there was, I know there were veils involved. And I know that, but veils are not exclusively no, for belly dance. No, they're not. Um, I, but like you could, I don't know. And then like hip scarves, I mean, you know, Ottoman costume does have that historically. Belly talk says we should do a history stream. Or you should do a history stream, Ada. <laughs> yes, I hope, man, I would love to do that. It'd you be should. so much fun. Oh. People want to hear about that stuff. So. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's really story time. It's story time. No, I'd love to, because then I could have an excuse. When somebody says, why are you reading that book? I'll say, it's research for my career. Exactly. Which sounds a lot more legitimate than, I don't know. 
<laughs> Ask me what are you reading something though. Oh, plenty of people. What? Like, if, I mean, because when you know when you go into a doctor's office and they're uh -huh. like, we'll be right with you. Yeah. You know, cut to five hours later yes. and they finally come in like, oh, I have had well, such a long lunch today. And, um, you know, and they always catch you reading. Mm -hmm. And they say, wow, what are you reading? And then if I say something like Archetypes and the Collective Unconscious by Carl Jung, they stare at me and they say, who are you? Get out. <laughs> I'm not saving your life today. I'm not saving you. Who are those readers? Get, Get out, out of here. here. You're part of the uppity bourgeoisie. <laughs> so that was the unboxing stream. <laughs> Plus, a history lesson. Plus a history lesson. Now you can be one of the educated few. Yes, that's one of those two birds with one uh, sparkly rock. stone. Stone, yes. Two stones. Two stones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, two stones. Well, yeah. Two stones, five. Uh, uh. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. Anyways, y'all, thanks for joining us today. I'm going to be doing more uh, live streams on Instagram, and I'll do a few on here as well. So make sure you're following me on Instagram, Magnolia Bella Dance, to see my posts and uh, any live streams that I do in the stories. And then, holy shit, what? My favorite Star Trek episode? Okay. Oh, my right, gosh. gosh. <laughs> so, first of all, in the original episode, original series, I feel like there are several episodes that really kind of, like, set the precedent of what Star Trek's going to be in the future. Because the way that Star Trek was structured, the whole point of it, like, the ethos of how it was designed was Gene Roddenberry basically providing an awkward... <laughs> I've never seen an episode of Star Wars. Oh, Jesus. We need to remind that tonight. Yeah, can we actually? Yes. Anyways, you should also follow Maida on Instagram as well. What is your Instagram account name? Oh, I just asked you something you don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, let me, I'll find I it I think for it's you. just my name. Okay, well, let me see. It's, it's young but spelled. Yeah, it's because it's not angle. It's right. young but not anglicized. It's, so it's M-E-T-A period L-J-U-N-G. And yeah. you'll see on there her belly dancing and her artwork as well. She's a super talented artist in multiple medias okay so be prepared for not more than just belly dance i think that you actually represented that well that you do more than just belly dance yeah, yeah star so. trek but anyway gene roddenberry's future, like vision for the future which is what we're all really here to talk about i mean sparkles all right gene roddenberry <laughs> Future and it just you know what's an optimistic future? What's an optimistic future? These sparkles. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually one of my major criticisms of next generation. So if you look at the optimistic future as a model where you're talking about the obviation of basic human needs, so you're basically making the presumption that Maslow's hierarchy has been filled. So then you have to kind of like reset the criteria by which humanity defines itself on an individual level. So that's really fascinating because then it becomes like a skill dominated uh, game, right? So as opposed what? to having to make a living and having like your net income being uh, uh, how you measure your self-worth, it's actually the accumulation of skill which you can devote yourself to, which is just like a really fantastic idea of how you would spend your time if you didn't have to rely on capitalism to supply you with survival. So, but one of the things that I thought was really interesting about Next Generation, looking at it now, like, it's definitely a product of its times in the sense that it was in the 80s. Um, so, but the way that they track sophistication and the way that they sort of present sophistication as a model is that a lot of the people end up, uh, they explore, like, mature ways to deal with relationships, you know, like the idea that friendship and being lovers is, you know, synonymous and you can go back and forth in between the two and sort of, like, transcending the animosity that usually comes with romantic relationships. But they also have this tendency to where when people, when they want to fully illustrate sophistication, they rely on Western signifiers. So for instance, everyone in Next Generation is a huge, like plays classical music. They all learn classical instruments. They all uh, read Shakespeare. They all read Milton. They read, you know, so they're, they're, they're kind of subconsciously trying to suggest that the pinnacle of human achievement is understanding and promoting Western art forms. So what I really wanted to see in the newer Star Treks is for them to kind of take that idea, but to expand it so that we could have a belly dancer performing yeah. amazing, the craft of belly dance, mm -hmm. 
on, you know, in 10-4 and have like a real Middle Eastern band with all of the complexity of, of how, you know, drum solos and everything work and present that as the pinnacle of human sophistication that not only are we presenting the Western ideals and the, the like the height of achievement in Western arts, but we would go beyond that and we'd start doing all the other stuff. I think they started to do that a little bit with, they kind of, uh, there was uh, the transporter's wife, Keiko, I think was her name, and they started to do that with Asian culture, but it would have been great to see them push that even further. All right, let's... <laughs> That's fine. That was that was a little treat for you there. No, but ultimately, a lot of people like Star Trek. Again, I've never seen it. It sounds like I need to see it, or I am a peasant for life. Yes, mm -hmm. that is fact. Yeah, Lynn said it's her favorite. Total of Tribbles is a, is a fun episode. Great. Yeah, not much for the moral dilemma uh, and uh, ethical questions that define the mythos of the series, but a lot of fun. And Maria just got here, and we're ending. So yes, we are. But um, when I end the video, it's still stays up on my channel, so you can rewatch it anyways. I mean, you're getting to see the costume right now, but right. Um, I show the full costume and everything, and we chit chat and have fun. So you can always rewatch it. Um, but what I was saying too is that uh, I'll be doing more live streams as well on Instagram too. So you can follow me over there at Magnolia Belly Dance. And then if you want to see even more extra content. Um, I have a Patreon, and Patreon is my number one priority for content. So Patreon, they get full albums of photo shoots. They get to see stuff like weeks before everybody else does. They get to see additional behind-the-scenes footage as well. They, I do a live stream for Patreon every single month as well. So if you want that extra Magnolia content, <laughs> it's over on my Patreon. So extra, what was it, fireballs? Extra fireballs. Yes, extra fireballs. <laughs> so... Um, yeah. yeah, thanks for joining me. Sure thing. <laughs> Hopefully we'll do another unboxing. We've accomplished great deeds. Yes. Well, you know, we've had a fun time. We were going to open this anyways, so. That's true. So, this way we just included people in our fun. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And hopefully you'll get um, that costume from eBay. And oh, yeah. Do an unboxing for that. So, <laughs> make sure you follow Yeah, that was that. funny. The, uh, the joke behind that, for all of you cameras up there, um, yeah. The joke behind that is that I, uh, I in my naivete, saw a costume on eBay and was like, that's nice. And then I bought it because it was cheap. And, uh, and then I thought to myself, you know who's been doing this longer than me? Magnolia. <laughs> so I sent her a message and I was like, should I have bought this? And she was like, no. And that's not like, what you said. You said, should I buy costumes off of eBay? And I said, no. And then you said, oh, well, I already did. That's how it went. No, I didn't, I didn't even send you the message back. I was just like, oh, okay. And then yeah. we were hanging out, and I was like, so you remember that time I sent you a message? Yes. And you were like, oh, yes. No. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping that arrives. It might not even arrive at all. Yeah, we don't know if it'll even show up. Yeah, but if it does. Um, but they said they shipped it the next day. Isn't that cool? I mean, there's no tracking information, but yeah. they said they did it. A custom ordered costume made in like 12 hours realistic it was crazy i mean i don't know the, the the model that they were showing was like it was probably a stolen picture yeah it was probably was yeah so anyways so uh now we're really in the industry for real <laughs> okay let's do it okay <laughs> all right thanks everybody i'll see you on various social platforms indeed yes yeah, like fun. comment uh, what did you say? Binge, pick, uh, select, push the whistle uh, button. Read, uh, scroll. Yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, <laughs> observe. Mm. Take notes. Take notes. Uh, Memorize. Fornicate. No, no wait, that's not it. Ending the stream! <laughs> Where's my mouse? Oh, yes. oh, oh no. Ring thy, thy uh, cold bell.